Welcome back to our channel guys. Today we are going to cover the latest edition of Indian Defense Updates. In this video we will cover Russia's proposal for joint production of the S-500 air defense system, the Ministry of Defense new radar aircraft procurement, upgrade for Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jets and the first rollout of Indian made H-125 helicopters. There is a lot to cover. So let's begin. First up, Russia has proposed joint production of its latest S-500 air defense system in India during Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Russia. This comes as India continues to enhance its defense capabilities having already procured the Russian S-400 system. The S-500 is crucial in the global arms race especially in hypersonic missile defense and the proposal is reminiscent of the successful BrahMos missile project. However, India's decision remains uncertain due to potential sanctions and geopolitical considerations. Despite production challenges, Russia has announced that mass production of the S-500 has begun and is on schedule to enter service. Moving on to the next news, the Ministry of Defense has issued a request for information to procure six airborne early warning and control systems for the Indian Air Force. This moves aim to bolster the Indian Air Force surveillance capabilities. The requirement includes jet engine aircraft and advanced radar, electronic surveillance and communication system. The airborne early warning and control systems will provide 360 degree radar coverage and integration with the Indian Air Force command and control grid. This procurement is crucial as India's current fleet of airborne early warning and control system is relatively small compared to its neighboring adversaries China and Pakistan. Next, India has developed a comprehensive plan to upgrade its Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jets with advanced radars, longer range weapons and multi-sensor fusion technology. These upgrades aim to ensure the jets remain combat capable for another 30 years. Notably, the upgrades include an indigenous infrared search and track system and advanced radar named Virupaksha. Despite challenges due to the sanctions on Russia, the plan aims to enhance India's air advancement and achieve self-reliance in defense manufacturing. In another significant development, Airbus is set to establish its first assembly line for the H-125 helicopter in India as a part of Make in India initiative. This collaboration with the Tata Group's aim to roll out the first made in India H-125 helicopters by 2026. The final assembly line will produce ESA certified helicopters contributing to the growth of the Indian aerospace industry and providing financial benefits for operators purchasing locally made helicopters. Furthermore, the Defense Research and Development Organization is advancing with the BMP-2K Namika MK2, a next-gen anti-tank system. The MK2 variant will feature a new NAG MK2 missile and twin missile launcher modules, enhancing India's armored fighting capabilities. The Namika MK2 will also retain the trusted armament system of the BMP-2, ensuring the versatility and firepower in various combat scenarios. Lastly, Zulu Defense, a Bangalore-based startup, is making strides in the air defense aerial systems. Their innovation include the deployable recce and attack platform and the portable reconnaissance system. With recent seed funding and recognition, Zulu Defense is poised to significantly impact national security and defense. Their advancements including AI-assisted object identification and tactical-grade UAS platforms demonstrate their commitment to revolutionizing air defense systems. That's all for today's Indian Defense Updates. Stay tuned for more insights and development in the Indian defense sector. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for the latest updates. Jai Hind!